The year 2025 is shaping up to be one of extremes, and it might just bring the biggest shock of all, an impact from the Yellowstone supervolcano. This supervolcano has been dormant for thousands of years, but scientists have recently detected some strange signals that suggest it won't stay that way for much longer. If the Yellowstone supervolcano erupts, it could potentially change life on Earth forever. So what are the chances this will happen in 2025? Let's find out. Scientists at the United States Geological Survey have recently raised their concerns over the Yellowstone supervolcano, predicting that it could erupt in the next 600,000 years. However, this prediction has sparked a debate within the scientific community. Some experts believe that the eruption could occur much earlier than anticipated, perhaps even in our lifetime. Geologist Richard Decker from the College of Idaho stated, I think we're overdue. It could happen tomorrow or in one million years. You can't really say. While others, like Robert Smith, professor of geology at the University of Texas, Austin, disagree. He believes that the possibility of an eruption in the next 100,000 years is negligible. It's important to note that the Yellowstone supervolcano has not shown any signs of waking up soon, such as increased earthquake activity or ground swelling. According to geologist Lee Liberty of the United States Geological Survey, there are no specific signs indicating an impending eruption. However, he acknowledges that such events are unpredictable and can occur without any prior indications. In light of these differing opinions, scientists are continuously monitoring the volcano to ensure public safety and to better understand its behavior. Despite the uncertainty surrounding its future activity, one thing is certain. The Yellowstone supervolcano remains a powerful force of nature that should not be underestimated. As we continue to learn more about it, we can better prepare ourselves for any potential risks and appreciate the incredible power of our planet. Scientists have recently discovered that magma is accumulating beneath the Yellowstone caldera at a rate of 1.3 cubic kilometers per year. This finding was made possible by analyzing the chemical composition of gases emitted by the supervolcano. The researchers concluded that the new magma chamber formed between 13,000 and 15,000 years ago, after the last super eruption. They also discovered that magma has been steadily accumulating in the area ever since. These revelations have raised concerns about the potential for another catastrophic eruption. To monitor the situation closely, scientists have installed more instruments to gather data on the rate of magma accumulation. Additionally, they plan to use seismic waves to image the magma chamber and determine its depth below the caldera. By studying the movement of magma, scientists hope to better predict the likelihood of an eruption and assess the risks involved. As we learn more about this supervolcano and its behavior, it's crucial to stay informed and prepared in case of an emergency. A new research suggests that the Yellowstone supervolcano is capable of causing global cooling and disrupting weather patterns worldwide, even if it does not directly hit a particular region. The study titled Yellowstone Super Eruptions and Their Climate Impacts on a Warming World, published in AGU Advances, reveals that a significant eruption could inject so much ash and gas into the atmosphere that it would block sunlight and cause temperatures to plummet. Lead author Kyle Anderson, a doctoral candidate in the School of Earth and Atmospheric Sciences at Georgia Tech, explained that the climate effects of a super eruption could be felt far beyond the immediate vicinity. He added that while most studies focus on local or regional impacts, their work demonstrates the need to consider the global implications as well. The researchers used a climate model to simulate the effects of a super eruption at Yellowstone National Park, which occurred around 640,000 years ago. The simulation showed that the eruption caused temperatures to drop by about 10 degrees Celsius or 18 degrees Fahrenheit in the Northern Hemisphere during the winter season following the event. The cooling effect lasted for more than a decade and affected regions beyond North America, including Europe and Asia. 
The study also found that the eruption led to a substantial decrease in precipitation across the globe, with some areas experiencing drought conditions for several years. These findings highlight the far-reaching consequences of a super-eruption at Yellowstone and underscore the importance of understanding the potential impact on weather patterns worldwide. Further research is warranted to assess the risks and develop effective mitigation strategies. Yellowstone National Park's Old Faithful Geyser erupted on August 27, 1985, sending boiling water high into the air. It marked the first time in recorded history that the park's iconic geyser had erupted on two consecutive days. The eruption occurred shortly before 10 a.m. Mountain Time, sending hot water and steam hundreds of feet into the air. Witnesses described the scene as awe-inspiring and unforgettable. The event was captured on film by a National Park Service employee who had set up a camera to record other geyser activity nearby. The footage shows Old Faithful erupting for approximately nine minutes, reaching an estimated height of 122 meters, about 400 feet. This surpassed the typical height of its eruptions, which usually reach around 91 meters, 300 feet. Old Faithful is one of the most famous geysers in the world and attracts thousands of visitors to Yellowstone National Park each year. Its regular eruptions have been a source of fascination and wonder for those who witness them. A super eruption at Yellowstone could potentially affect the entire planet, including Antarctica. While previous studies have examined the impact of such an event on a global scale, this recent research focuses specifically on Antarctica and its unique ecosystem. The findings suggest that a large-scale eruption at Yellowstone could have significant implications for the continent's delicate balance, potentially leading to major changes in the environment and climate. A massive eruption at the Yellowstone supervolcano could trigger substantial climate change, impacting various aspects of the Antarctic environment. The eruption would release large amounts of ash and aerosols into the atmosphere, leading to a significant reduction in sunlight reaching the surface. This could result in a cooling effect on the continent, disrupting the delicate balance of the Antarctic ecosystem. The ash and aerosols released could also have long-lasting effects on global weather patterns, leading to changes in temperature and precipitation in Antarctica. In addition to the direct effects on climate, a super eruption at Yellowstone could also impact Antarctica through secondary effects. For example, the eruption could disrupt ocean currents, leading to changes in heat distribution and affecting the temperature of Antarctic waters. These changes in temperature could have cascading effects on marine life and the overall ecosystem. Furthermore, the eruption could introduce additional stressors to the Antarctic environment, such as acid rain or changes in nutrient availability, which could further impact the continent's biodiversity and ecosystem stability. The potential impact of a super-eruption at Yellowstone on Antarctica highlights the interconnectedness of the planet's systems and the far-reaching consequences of such events. Further research and monitoring are necessary to fully understand the risks and potential consequences for this fragile environment. A super eruption at the Yellowstone supervolcano could potentially lead to a collapse of the United States economy. The economic impact would likely be devastating and far-reaching, affecting various sectors and industries nationwide. Such an event could trigger widespread panic and chaos, leading to a significant decline in consumer confidence and spending. Financial markets could experience a sharp downturn as investors grapple with the implications of the eruption and its potential fallout. The agricultural industry would also be severely impacted with widespread crop failures and livestock losses due to ash and debris covering farmland and disrupting planting and harvesting activities. Transportation and logistics could face major disruptions as well, with many airports and roadways closed due to ashfall and emergency response efforts. Businesses across various sectors would be forced to shut down or scale back operations, leading to job losses and decreased productivity. The healthcare industry could also be significantly affected with disruptions in supply chains, leading to shortages of essential medical supplies and equipment. 
The eruption could also divert resources away from other pressing issues, such as ongoing health crises and the mental health crisis, leading to worsening conditions for vulnerable populations. The economic impact of a super eruption at the Yellowstone supervolcano would undoubtedly be catastrophic, affecting virtually every aspect of the U.S. economy. Recovering from such a disaster would require substantial investments in cleanup and recovery efforts, as well as ongoing support for affected communities and industries. In conclusion, while the possibility of a super eruption at the Yellowstone supervolcano in the coming year is still uncertain, it serves as a reminder of the immense power of nature and the potential threats posed by natural disasters. As we continue to learn more about this phenomenon, it's crucial to invest in research and monitoring efforts to better understand its behavior and mitigate any potential risks. Staying informed and prepared is essential for individuals and communities in the event of an eruption. By working together, we can strive to minimize the impact of such events and protect both people and the environment. The threat posed by the Yellowstone supervolcano is a stark reminder of the fragility of our planet and the challenges we face in living in harmony with nature. However, it also presents an opportunity for us to come together as a global community and take proactive steps to safeguard our future. Investing in renewable energy sources and sustainable practices can help reduce our reliance on fossil fuels and mitigate the risk of catastrophic climate change. Embracing a culture of preparedness and resilience can also help us better respond to natural disasters when they occur. By working together, we can strive to create a safer, more sustainable future for generations to come. As we navigate the uncertainties of the future, let us remember the importance of staying connected, supporting one another and embracing the power of community in the face of adversity. Together, we can build a brighter future. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to receive notifications about our latest videos. We would greatly appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more informative and entertaining content in the future.